Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of April tarot reading the 23rd through the 30th. Um, and the, generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up here. This is for the sign of Vir Virgo and um, just want to let you guys know that Saturn is retrograde. That means, and you are probably already know, you know, if you've been watching all the YouTube stuff or you're into astrology, but that means that it's time of karma. <laughs> so April 17th till September 3rd, if you've done bad things, payback's a bitch. If you've done good things, your rewards are coming, okay? So anyway, we're going to start your reading as that one fell out. Um, that's the sun in reverse, so there could be some sadness, there could be some depression, sorry to say. Here we got another one, okay. So you may, there could be some resentment, there could be some bitterness, or there could be a need to be assertive. If you're sad over something, or if something is bringing you down, maybe you need to stand up for yourself. That could be the case. You could also be dealing with a Leo, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But from what I see, somebody needs to stand up for themselves. Oh. Okay, so I think there is some sort of decision that needs to be made and maybe somebody has been um, on the fence about this decision and it's been causing some depression, okay? It has. And it's been causing some em emotional turmoil. So somebody has been stalling, sitting on the fence. They know they have to make a decision. It's a very difficult decision. Okay, it may be a painful decision, and I feel like you're being torn in two different directions. And I'm going to have to go turn this off. Happens every time. Alright. Sorry about that. But I'm not going to start it over. Okay. So, there's a decision that needs to be made. It's a difficult decision. And I think that, you know, you're being called to face your fears. Um, you know, you, you're wondering what you should do. What, where does your loyalty lie? Okay. Does my loyalty lie over here or over here? Okay. So I feel like it, right now you are at this spot. There's a lack of contentment. And you need to do what's right for you. And you're having a really hard time doing what's right for you. And I feel like your emotions may be a little all over the place as you're trying to make this most difficult decision. Yeah, I think that you guys are blocking something. You are. You're blocking your own happiness by not standing up for yourselves. Somebody is refusing to step outside of their comfort zone. They're letting all of this mental conflict trap them in fear. So somebody is absolutely trapped in fear and it's causing them a lot of depression. Okay, there could be a desire to remove yourself from one situation so that you can engage in another one. You know, there's probably a third party situation here. When I say third party situation, it doesn't mean that it's always a sexual partner. There could be three people involved in this decision, okay? You have to choose one way or the other. So if you have to choose one way or the other, there's you. There's a person on this side and there's a person on this side. Doesn't mean it's a sexual person. So I feel like you are caught in the middle of a situation and you have, you're, you're the decision maker, okay? So I feel like right now somebody is very, very, very scared to step outside of their comfort zone and it's causing them a lot of mental conflict in what's happening because they're unable to do what they have to do that's what's right for them. You know, they're blocking their own happiness. So you're refusing to grow. Somebody is refusing to grow. They're refusing to start anew and it feels like somebody may be feeling smothered you may be feeling smothered or maybe you don't want to make the move because you feel like you're being selfish if you do what's right for you and that could be the case but wherever you're at there's a lack of passion there's a lack of growth there's no more growth where you're at so why are you staying 
wherever whoever this is with, whether this is a job, in a job, or in a relationship, whatever. I don't know where this is at. There's no more growth. There's no more excitement. There's no more passion. And it's making somebody really unhappy. And, you know, we have the tower, which is great. It really is. Because the tower brings in the breakdown that you are unable to deny. Okay? The tower brings in this event, this happening, to push you outside of your comfort zone. Because you have been sitting around on the fence, unable to take action. And the universe can only sit back and watch for so long. Especially if your thoughts are saying, I'm so unhappy. If you're telling the universe via your thoughts or your emotions that you are so unhappy where you're at, they can hear it. You don't even have to say the words. Your thoughts become things. And if you are telling the universe that you are very unhappy in a situation, without even saying the words, they hear you. So Virgo, it appears that it, there is some sort of shake up on the horizon, whether it's this week, or in the near future that is coming to take the blindfold off and push you outside of your comfort zone. It's probably going to ask you to stand up for yourself. It might be emotional, but it wants you to make a decision. It's time for you to find your backbone, okay? This is about backbone. It's about integrity and it's about morals. It's about doing the right thing for you. To find your ultimate happiness. It's time, the tower moment, the tower when it comes in is doing this because it wants you to be happy. This is bliss, this is happiness. And you've been hanging on. You have. You've been hanging on to something. You really, really resisted it. I think there's some ties that need to be severed. There's a lot of conflict. There's a loss of self. Somebody's not following their intuition. The universe sees that they're not following their intuition. Somebody's not wanting to work on something anymore. Not putting in effort because there's a lack of growth and a lack of passion. I'm just not in it. I'm not here. I don't feel it. I'm not interested. There's a lack of self-love. Somebody doesn't love themselves enough to do the right thing. To do the right thing for themselves. They're not putting themselves first. But they want more. I want more. I do. I know that I want more. My dreams are bigger than this. I know they are. But I refuse to open my eyes and accept the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. I, don't, I know what the truth is, but I'm doubting my intuition. I'm doubting myself. I'm doubting what I hear. I'm doubting what I want because I don't love myself to believe what I want. So I feel like this could, this could have to do with work or it could have to do with relationship. Somebody's not happy. And they refuse to open their eyes and wake up and accept the truth and make a move. 
damn it, this is a freaking broken record. But you're being called to let go. This is going to be a struggle. What are you sacrificing yourself for? It's time to let go. I know that you're stuck and you're resisting a change, but it's time to struggle through this. Look at this from a new perspective. This is a blessing in disguise. Truly, the tower brings in a blessing in disguise. It's time to focus on your future. Realize that the future is bright and there are other opportunities that will fulfill you. I think what's going on at the end of this month, somebody's emotionally detached because they're not following their wishes, they're not following their dreams, they're not following themselves. There's a lack of self-love here. And so what they've done is they've shut themselves off, cold, detached, withdrawn. And this can be at work or in your love life. But the tower feels you, hears you, that's why the tower is here. I think the tower is coming soon, very, very soon, to sever some ties that you have been unable to take action on. You've blocked your emotions so much that you are unable to move forward. Just totally blocked them. And it's caused a lot of emo emotional turmoil. Because if you fight your feet, if you fight your your feelings, they will continue to build and build and fester and fester until you explode. They will make you physically ill. Look at that. If someone would realize the truth, come out of this period of darkness, stop investing in some place where they don't want to be, they would find something that they love. There's an opportunity for love here. But someone's not following their heart. They aren't. Whoever you are that's watching this, that this is for, the, the universe feels your pain and they hear your thoughts. And eventually, they are going to step in and force you to step outside of your comfort zone and do what's right for you. So what advice do we have for Virgo for the end of this month into May? What advice do we have for Virgo? Let it end. Let it end. You end it. This is the ending. End it. I asked what advice. Make the decision. This is making a clear decision. Make the clear decision. Stop treating yourself unfairly. This is unfair treatment. You're abusing yourself. You're harming yourself. It's time for you to let it end. Make the decision. And stop harming yourself. Because you're harming yourself emotionally by not doing what's right for you. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you. 
as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you and to prove they're with you at this time. You see all the signs? There's a feather, there's feathers, there's a butterfly, there's a dragonfly, what's this, pennies, and a, and a rose? Somebody from heaven is on your side. They're trying to get you to follow your heart. Anyhow, this is what I have. Talk to you later.